Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another video. The Angels of Zaravan update has brought us a new boss type enemy to face, the Angels. And they have quite an interesting approach to how we deal with them, so let's keep them as simple and straight to the point as we can, shall we? Step 1 locating the angel firstly you'll be needing to find a statue which summons the angel into life now there are quite a lot of statues scattered around but the main one you are looking for looks exactly like this above raising their hand into the air almost beckoning you to inspect it closer and funnily enough you do you will be prompted with a way to interact and summon the angel into the fight so activate it step two a casual approach now, just like anything in Warframe, when you don't know what to do, you hit it. And that's exactly what I want you guys to do from here onwards. Hit the damn thing until you bring it to its knees. Keep in mind, it will do a few different attacks, and I'll quickly run down what to do if they do happen to you. A giant red ball above the angel's head. Now, this will absorb most of your incoming damage. Quickly, just swap over to your operator and pop it with your void damage to destroy the orb. If you don't, it will follow you, deal damage, and knock you down. Ground trails to lock your Warframe. Now, this attack, if not dodged, will transfer you straight out of your Warframe. Now, don't panic. Look at the blades holding your Warframe pin together and focus on shooting those blades exactly to release your Warframe. See, if you have prisms like Clamora, for example, you'll notice that the spread on the Clamora means that you can just shoot anywhere around your Warframe and the blades and you'll be free. However, prisms that require accuracy like Raplak, then you'll see the difference. So hit the blades precisely, not the Warframe. Other attacks in general, now the Angel can go up into the air and vanish briefly. Not to panic, it will reappear pin right next to you giving you a warning with a red glowing area for you to avoid a lot of the other attacks in general to avoid are usually just glowing red areas so don't stand in them and just keep on fighting step three the arena now that the angel has been brought to her knees a sphere is presented above their heads enter it however you want by bullet jumping or void dashing it doesn't matter just get in the damn thing what will happen is you will be teleported to an arena facing the angel with just your operator. This arena is somewhat timed and it will require you to basically do a DPS check. So shoot the angel straight away without hesitation. When enough damage is dealt, depending on how many players have entered the arena with you, the angel will summon spheres around her. This basically reflects and makes her immune until you dash through all of the spheres that you can see. Now you can approach this by remaining in the air if you're quite skilled at doing this and chain dash till all of the spheres are gone or you could do them one by one whatever you find easier that works for you however whenever you do successfully remove a sphere you are presented with a buff once you land on the platform now this yellowish zone is to protect you from a beam attack that would basically push you and kill you out of the arena and making you repeat all of this all over again so stay in this zone when she teleports far up into the air and she won't be able to hurt you in this shield like dome the zone i believe and i may be wrong here but from what i can tell actually provides heal over time and a small damage increase so please use those to your advantage now that all of those severs are removed from the angel shoot her and continue to kill her and you'll leave the arena guys this is basically a rinse and repeat system so now you get the idea execute it a couple more times until all of those segment bars at the top of the screen are done and on the last bar you won't need to enter into the arena again because this is her last stand so shoot kill and claim your void plume pinion material that she drops now this is currently used as the best standing to rank up in the zaraman syndicate and also used for crafting recipes to purchase and build the evolving weapons for example that brings us to the end of the video if I missed anything, please let me know. But how did you guys find fighting against the angels? And what else would you like to see from them in the future? Let me know in the comment section below about your thoughts. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please go and give it a like, a cheeky share with a friend if they don't understand it. And if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys again in the next video.